Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this is going to be on Swamp Thing issue number 32 and this is my first time reading Swamp Thing and I'm actually only reading it because of Aquaman you know he's in this issue and it's a continuation from issue number 31 of Aquaman so basically in this issue we see that Swamp Thing is asking for help from the old avatars about what is under the sea what is it you know what does it want little on we see that aquaman is kind of trying to fight it back with his animals with his friends right here but he couldn't really uh, fight them and uh, you know the planet started to kill each one of them and in the end we see that swamp thing went inside of the planet and he started to fight her from the inside and i think he won the war from the inside but in the end of the issue uh, you know, we saw that uh, the lady, you know, an old avatar as well, she kind of stabbed Swamp Thing in the head, in the skull, and basically uh, that was the cliffhanger for this issue. Uh, I don't know, from my side, I thought that this issue was boring, uh, you know, nothing was good about it, <coughs> excuse me, and... Uh, Basically, I only liked the cliffhanger in this book. Like, if I was a Swamp Thing fan, I'd be like, "Holy shit!" Now I gotta pick up issue number thirty-three. But uh, you know, for this case, I didn't really like the issue. There wasn't like something wow about it. But the cliffhanger was the best part about it. So yeah, you know, I might be reading issue number thirty. I'm not sure so uh, let me know guys what did you think of the story arc you know this little small story arc that happened between Swamp Thing and Aquaman did you enjoy it did you think it was stupid just like I thought so leave your comments down below and see you guys around take care